Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you something that took me quite a while to figure out, and that's how to run a webinar, specifically the tech side of things. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step exactly what you need to have in place to run a webinar and generate more sales in your business. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new tech tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your online business. So even if you don't use these specific tools, the lessons will still apply and you can just recreate these steps in your own systems. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is prepare your webinar. So that means deciding on your topic and creating your slides. So I just created these slides in Keynote. You can use Keynote or PowerPoint and create the visuals to go along with your presentation. Next, you need to create a sign-up page. I use lead pages because it makes creating landing pages really easy. So here is the one that I created for this webinar. So I had a little countdown to the date, um, exactly what people can expect, when it is, who it's hosted by, and then what they can expect to learn. And this was really quite easy to build. So now what I need to do is connect this to my email marketing software. So for email marketing, I use ConvertKit. I absolutely love it. I can't say that I was a very big fan of email marketing before ConvertKit, but they change things because they make it so easy and user-friendly. So I need to make sure that this page here is sending all of those emails to ConvertKit. So I'm gonna click on my button in lead pages and then on this little link icon, then click view. And then if you click on the button again on this pop-up, it's going to bring up integrations. So here I'm connecting it to ConvertKit, but if you use something else for your email marketing, you can just connect that here. Now, as you can see, this is pulling in all of the different forms that I have within ConvertKit. So for this webinar, I would need to go into ConvertKit and create a new form. So I'm just going to click Create Form and choose a form. I'm just going to use this one here. Now, it doesn't matter what the form looks like because you're not actually using it. You're just sending the information through this form. So I'm going to title this. So it's my Five Easy Steps webinar. Okay, and I'm going to include the date as well. Great, then I'm gonna go into settings and turn off this incentive email. Okay, and save that form. Great, so then back in lead pages, I would make sure that I've selected that from the drop down here. Okay, and then once I've done that, I can decide what information I want to collect. So I'm just gonna collect the first name and email. And then I'm going to click on actions and make sure that I'm sending them to a branded thank you page after they sign up. So that's the sign up page, but we also need to make sure that signups get a confirmation email. So that's done back within ConvertKit and within that form that we just created. Under main settings, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to create a sequence. So I'm going to create a new sequence and title this five easy steps. Okay, create sequence. And now I need to make sure that this goes out immediately to anyone who has signed up for the webinar. So here you'll see delay sending by. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to change this to zero. And if you put in zero, it's going to go out immediately. Awesome. And it would say something like you're in. And then here I would write my email, letting people know that they are confirmed. Okay. So I would change this to published and then click save. and then go back into my form that I had created. 
and then settings and make sure that it is connected right down here to that new sequence, okay? And you're going to do make sequence mandatory for all new subscribers. So click save. And so what we've done so far is we've created our slides, created our sign up page, hooked that up to ConvertKit and sent out a confirmation email. Now, the next thing that you need to do is prep your webinar room. So for the actual webinar, I highly recommend using Crowdcast because I think it takes away all of the tech stress. I mean, obviously you still have to get comfortable with it, but in comparison to other options, I think this is a really great one. So I'm going to click on my events and then I'm going to create new event and I'm going to title it. Awesome, and then I need to set the date. So this one I had done January 10th, but we'll just pretend I'm doing it on the 20th. Okay, great, click done. And then you would type in your description here and you can enable this if you'd like the short description. You need to keep the visibility public, uh, password protected, no, and paid event, no. I'm just going to make this a free event and click save. Awesome, so this is going to then bring you into the webinar room, but there's a few more things that I want to do. So I'm going to click edit, and then you'll see a cover option over here. So you're going to change this to yes, upload a cover photo. I'm going to just add in an image for my webinar. All right, click save. And that's going to give you this image here, um, which will be the placeholder for the webinar room, as well as what is visible on your registration page. So let me just show you that. So now you're going to go back into edit mode and you'll see registration and multi-streams. Don't worry about those for now. Click advanced. And here you're going to get your URL for your webinar. You can also find it right up here at the top. And there's a few questions here that you need to answer. So whether you want to limit seats, I'm going to say no. Whether I want to accept contributions, I'm going to say no. Customize the registration button, no. The only two things I would say on here is to turn off the emails. So I just find it easier to keep it all in one place. So that's why I keep all my emails within ConvertKit. And then you can, if you want, hide your attendees and insert your Facebook pixel. But for now, I'm just going to click save. Great. So this is the webinar room. And when you are ready to go live, you're just going to click enter green room and run your webinar. But before we do that, we need to schedule emails to go out to everyone who has signed up and get them excited for the webinar and make sure that they actually show up live. So now we're going to go back into ConvertKit and this time we're going to go into automations. And this is something that you need to do before you go live with any of it. So you're going to go into rules, you're going to click add rule, and what we're going to do is we're going to set a trigger so that when someone subscribes to our form, so we've created that form for our webinar, five easy steps, we're going to tag them. So I'm just going to create a new tag, five easy steps webinar, January 10th. Okay, great, click save rule. So it's really important that whatever system you're using, that you make sure you tag people who have signed up because that means when we're sending all of our pre-webinar and post-webinar emails, we're only emailing the segment of our list who has actually signed up for that specific webinar. So now I'm going to go into broadcasts. So broadcasts are more like your regular newsletter or campaign in other platforms. So I'm going to click new broadcast. 
And this is where I decide who's going to receive this email. So rather than sending it to all subscribers, I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to change it to matching all of the following subscribe to tag and I'm going to add five easy steps webinar and add my filter. And of course, no one signed up yet, so it's gonna say zero, but um, that's all right. It doesn't matter, leave it as zero, and now go into your content. And here you're going to write your pre-webinar content. So for example, I would do coming up, and here I would write my email letting people know that the webinar is coming up in one hour, for example, okay? And then you're going to click next step, and then you can schedule this out. So you're going to schedule it for the day of the webinar. You can choose the specific time and schedule that out. So this is really great because rather than you know worrying about these last minute details, you can do all of this ahead of time. All right, so I would click schedule broadcast and do this with any of the emails that I want to send prior to the webinar. And one important thing that I'm going to mention, I'm going to go back into the content and show you how to link to your webinar. So it was important when we saw the URL in Crowdcast, that's all you need to give people to enter the webinar room. So in ConvertKit, I would just go click here to join, for example, and I'm just going to link that insert link, paste that in, and that part is done. Now, there's also some emails that you're going to want to send after you've done your webinar, and I highly recommend that you schedule those ahead of time as well. So these will be simple broadcast emails again, and I'm going to turn this off and filter it out so that only people who have actually signed up for my webinar get it. So subscribe to that tag, content, and let's say that I wanted to share my replay. So here's your replay. All I need to do in order to do that is share the same link again. So I could go watch the replay here, and you can either just paste it in just like that, or you can do what I did in the previous email and create a link. So highlight, create this little link icon, click on that, and click save. Okay, and then you would go preview, and you would schedule this to go out after your webinar has happened. So after this, all that's left is to run the actual webinar, and you know, the day of, you can focus on actually practicing it rather than worrying about the tech pieces. So I'm just gonna quickly recap what we did. We prepped your webinar by creating slides in Keynote, and then we went into lead pages and created a sign-up page. And then we made sure that this sign-up page was hooked up to our email marketing system, and that we created a branded thank you page. After this, we made sure that people automatically got a email confirming that they have signed up for the webinar. And we did this by creating an immediate email sequence in ConvertKit. After this, we prepped our webinar room and got that ready to go. And that's in Crowdcast. As you can see, it's been scheduled already and they're giving you a countdown to the webinar here. Next, we went back into Crowdcast, and by using the broadcast feature, we scheduled all of the pre-webinar emails and all of the post-webinar emails. And if you're using Crowdcast, it's really great because your link to the webinar and to the replay is the same. So you can do all of this ahead of time. And then you just have to run your webinar and make sure that you celebrate after you've done all this with a glass of wine. All right, that's it for this video. I hope that you learned a lot. Remember, if you have any questions at all, just leave them for me in the comments and I will get back to you there or I will make another video. 
Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you hit subscribe and I'll see you guys soon with another video.